Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to do SEO for WordPress websites in 2024. So we're delving into the dynamic world of SEO, which is the search engine optimization, which is a vital aspect of boosting your website's visibility. So in this tutorial, I will guide you through the essential steps to optimize your WordPress websites for search engines in the year 2024. So stick around and I will ensure you, of course, or show you how to do it so let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first we'll have to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with here in my case i'm actually going to use the brave browser and of course in your case it could be any other browser that you could possibly have once you open that browser and simply go to the crl section here at the top and type wordpress sorry so wordpress.com and hit the enter button this will take you into the home screen and main screen of the wordpress websites of course if it's your first time you will find oh, sorry you'll find yourself on something like this so you can log in into your account at this top right corner login or create an account and get started in here or carry on the middle below this wordpress your way of course you can even scroll down an example and read more information about this, about the, this website see the pricing the features post the video check it all by your own and read any information that you want about it too. Then, once you're logged in, of course, into your account, you'll find yourself on the dashboard of your website right away. So, to kickstart, of course, your SEO journey, begin by understanding your target audience and identifying relevant keywords. You can use tools like Google Keyword Planner to discover high impact keywords that resonate with your content and audience. You can, of course, simply go and use any tools that you want other than Google Keyword Planner uh, to understand what you want. And of course, content is king on optimizing it. It's crucial for the SEO success. Ensure that your content on your website is well written, relevant, and incorporates your identified keywords naturally. Break up your text with headers, use multimedia elements, and aim for an engaging and in the informative user experience. You can even craft compiling title tags and meta description for each page or post. These elements not only impact search engine ranking, but also influence their users' uh, clicks. So make them consist, uh, descriptive, and even include some relevant like keywords to entice both search engines and users. Don't forget about your visuals. Optimize the images by compressing them without sacrificing the quality. And using, of course, description file names. Incorporate all uh, like all texts uh, that includes relevant keywords to enhance both accessibility and search engine visibility there are a, rule, a lot of tools that can help you optimize the pictures or compress the pictures without touching the quality of the image you can search or search that out it's very easy to find and of course in the mobile like centric era having a responsive design is imperative so ensure your wordpress website is mobile friendly also as Google placed a significant emphasis on mobile like first indexing. So test your sites on various devices to guarantee a seamless user experience. And site of course speed is a crucial factor for both user satisfaction. So and search engine ranking. So you can use tools like Google Page Speeds Insights to identify areas for improvement, optimize images, leverage browser caching, and consider a reliable hosting provider to boost your website speed. As an example, you can use that tool, or you can even use some plugins here in the WordPress site that will help you like increase or, or show you where the problems that you have on your website and where you should improve and a lot of other stuff that like that some of tools of those tools will require from you uh, like the paid plan so you'll find some free one but they will not offer a lot of things i have some plugins that i'm currently using you can simply go to plugins for me i'll just click on insert plugins for you click on add a new plugin and as an example here i'll just type seo to look for those and as you can see i have this yoast seo this yoast seo plugin as you can see the first true all-in-one seo solution for wordpress including on-page content analysis xml sitemaps and much more that's what i was going to talk about so we can create an example and submit even uh, an xml uh, sitemap to search engines to help them crawl and index your site efficiently additionally customize your uh, robots.txt file to control like how search engine uh, bot navigates 
visit your sites and this ensures they focus on the most critical content and of course you can even build quality bank links uh, backlinks sorry so quality backlinks uh, with reputable or from reputable websites can significantly boost your sao implement a strategy to naturally earn backlinks through a high quality content and outreach and collaborators avoid spammy practices as they can harm your site's reputation so other than that I wa as i was saying you can use this use SEO as a plugin so how is th that working as example so i'll just go okay it needs an update first of all so let's just go and update it of course make sure to even get rid of the plugins that you're not using this will help you speed up your websites like a lot as you can see now it's updated so i'll just go here and click on view details uh, there's critical error let's just click again and see so sometimes there's just a problem it's fine and i guess it should work like now maybe because i just updated it of course the thing more for me i have it activated so i don't want to click on deactivate to deactivate it from your website or from my websites basically so okay let me just show you by example go into pages and click on add a new page why not to show you that the plugin is working for me and it will help me of course like create a good uh page for my website or just will analyze my website to have a better seo ranking so in here as an example let's just go and click and create add a new page and as you can see while i'm creating a new page they will show me like the plugin that i'm using here like wpa code uh, wp code this is for implementing some ads to my website ultimate social media this is for connect just simply connecting social media and as you can see this yoast seo so as you can see at the moment for the page that I am just going to create, readability analysis, as you can see, it's side face, and SEO analysis needs improvements. So they show you in here as an example. As you can see, this will require some, uh, the analysis will require premium SEO analysis, ad related key phrase will require premium, and internal linking suggestions will require premium. Other than that, everything will be good to start with. So let's say, an example, I'll just go and name it the focus key phrase. So I don't know, I'll just go with lights, why not? Type lights. And as you can see in here, you'll be able to see the SEO analysis, the pro where the problems has is, where the good result is. So you can simply go and check those to improve it. And yeah, that's gonna be it. So there you have it. You just learned how to perform like SEO or how to perform SEO for your WordPress website in 2024. Remember, SEO is an ongoing process to stay informed. Uh, so stay informed about industry changes and consistency, consistency or, or consistent, consistently <laughs> uh, refine your strategies. So if you have any questions, of course, or ideas that you want me to cover in the next video, just leave it down in the comment section. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.